itong injury. Ito ang uh, ating uh, Ginebras at Miguel premium best play of the game as Rudy Hatfield gets it back. Rudy Hatfield or Ginebras at Miguel premium gin best play of the game. Have a good time with Ginebras at Miguel premium gin. Make yours a premium experience. Well, Ed, patagal-tagal na natin hindi nakikita si Dorian Peña on the floor, okay. no? That's because Coach Otreas is just matching up to what he never has on the floor. I think it's important that Miguel establish his own game. Oh, that's a big With a TM3, and it's a TM, a pinalakas na touch mobile as we go into the last two minutes. Ang ating outlast two minutes, and it's a new outlast batteries. Wala nang iba. One clutch shot after another coming from Olsen oh, yes. Pasela. Nakawala si J.J. Helderman. Sante, Salvador Strong. Wala. Loose ball. Take that by Kagiwa. Teka, teka, teka. May loose ball ball. Teka, teka. Wala ho. Hindi ho kasi makakarinigan dito eh. Looks like a loose ball foul. It might be against San Miguel. Si Hontiveros sa matatawagan. I thought there might have also been a second motion against Mamaril. Pangapat kay Dondo Hontiveros. Abang ang Barangay Hinebra ng isa, 1989. Well, yun ang uh, handicap ng uh, San Miguel ngayon. No? They're playing with a small lineup. And uh, they're trying to out-rebound the big men of uh, Hinebra who all have the big advantage of getting those loose balls, especially when they have to go up high for the ball. Pero ba pala yun? Ito lang kanina, he missed two free throws. Ooh! Ayaw pa rin. One point lead by Hinebra. And I need to be a coach to begin a coach to Andreas. Well, the uh, problem is this momentum wise, no? Uh, he has to choose now how how he's going to change the momentum in, in one minute and 45, no? It's going to be very difficult. Well, at this point, no, he can bring back Dorian Peña to oh. try to establish a new game plan. Uy, uy, pinanda na ni Billy Mamarel. And then, lakas na gusto. Para sa Dorado. Bumanda. <laughs> Two point lead for Barangay Hinebra, 91-89. A minute and 38 to go. Well, they're not developed, they're talking about Bola. Oh, this game is far from over. Oh! Far, so, far from over. You say that again. That is single for a post, eh? Being it. Pinatulak agad. You don't know the better. Smooth ball. Picked up by Danny in the post, so he goes up. Wala! Single! Tips it in! And we're tied at 91. Deadlocked at 91 all with 1 minute and 21 seconds to go. Can this game be any closer? Oi, JJ Hilton Brand to be today. Billy Bavaril, Pinao Salicotti, Dondon Tiberos. Yes, Dondon Tiberos. Pero tinamaan din si Danny El Deponso. Nako? Emotions are running high. Patapos na ang laro natin. Possibly patapos na rin ang ating serie. Danny El Deponso reacted to some physicality. Si Bavaril, now at the line. Kanina, he missed one. Yung pangalawang free throw niya, pinanda niya to make sure. Ano kaya ang gagawin ni uh, Billy ngayon? Ibabanda kaya niya? Two out of six from the free throw line in the game. Ooh, still some free throw shooting blows. Dominic Oy, may balita ba tayo kay Rudy Hatfield? Oo, oh, eh, hanggang ngayon hindi pa rin tumitigil yung dugo dun sa ilong nitong si Rudy Hatfield. Ang nangyayari dun eh, he actually got the rebound at tumama siya sa tuhod ng isang uh, San Miguel Beerman. Pero sabi naman ng uh, doctor natin dito sa PBA, eh, may sugat lang siya dun sa ilong. It's just a deep cut inside the nose. Uh, uh, that's uh, a bit of good news. Ano, ha? Dahil, uh, at least walang sinasabi broken uh, uh, nose. Ano? Uh, but uh, Rudy Hatfield still uh, cooling his heels sa Mantala. 92-91, Barangay Hinebra by one. We have a timeout. Ayong kagabi, Gibbs, uh, mga amigo na ito dira sa Panay Island, kang sa Negros, eh, sadya naman kay... Uh, Amo ni, hampang naman ang uh, uh, Barangay Hinebra kag uh, San Miguel Beer. Game 6 at isa lang ang namang ng uh, Barangay Hinebra 92-91 na sa San Miguel ang bola. 1 minute and 6 seconds to go. Most teams in the penalty. Paulson Rosella down low to Danny Siegel. Siegel puts it up. Mahina. And the ball goes out of bounds. It will stay with San Miguel, says Referee Kalungkagin. Nag-zone ng Hinebra doon. Na-overload. Na-libre si Danny Siegel. Oo. So, oh, minsan, you know, nagugulat din ang San Miguel. Uh -huh. This very shifting uh, defense na pinapakita ng Barangay Hinebra. Uh, Kapalit-palit. Uh -huh. Very unpredictable eh. Uh -huh. Dondo Rotiveros gets it back to Danny Siegel. Siegel to Lordy Tugadio! Oh! A big shot by Lordy! TM3! Sa tinsay ko ng TM! 
Peter the Cross that touch mobile. Nine points for Lordy Ducati. That's why he's in the game for the three-point shot. And it's a two-point lead by San Miguel. We have a timeout. Okay, okay. two-point lead with Barangay Hinebra in the possession. On timeouts, Barabi pa, huh? San Miguel has two timeouts left, one full and one thirty. At oh. Barangay Hinebra, two full and two thirties. Ito, substitution. Now, Wesley Gonzalez has been sent in for Don Don Tiveros by Coach Chot Reyes. Okay, he's another weapon. Also has been playing good defense against Kagiwa. Ito si Helterbrand. Helter Brand against Rosera. Helter Brand. Pili kay Sunday Salvation! Yes! Ayun! Dalawa lang, dalawa lang. Two points, two points. So, tabla tayo, tabla tayo. Sunday Salvation has been on fire. It's our second half. He's got 18 points. But hindi ito si Sunday Salvation. At hindi lang yun. He's being set up. His teammates are looking for him. They're looking to execute. And Sunday is delivering. Ito, makikita natin. Talaga hinahanap ni J.J. Helterbrand eh, oh. Hinahanap niya si Sante Salvacion. Kumahabol si Lordy Tugade. But he is a tad too late. As uh, Sante Salvacion scores his 18th point of the game. And deadlocks the count at 94 all. With a uh, shade under 36 seconds remaining uh, in the game. Coach Tommy, ano sa palagay mo ang gagawin naman ngayon ni Coach Chot Reyes? Well, he'll try to go to low post, I think, to get a foul. Ayaw niya ng outside shot, eh, no? Uh -huh. And you, uh, you only have 35 uh, seconds left. You must take a good shot, you know? It's not an outside shot. High percentage, shot, high percentage. Uh -huh. Oh. Question, ano, class in defense kaya ilalaro na? Correct. Yun ang mangyayari. So uh -huh. he must draw out two plays, no? One play if it's a zone, and then the other play if it's a man-to-man, -man, no? Yes. Ano ba yan? Makukuha na ba yan? Ang ganda ng trophy, oh. Ah, that's the Philippine Cup trophy. And drafted by Ramon Ordina. Oh, yung magaling National na artist. National artist natin at uh, si Coach Chotre sinasabi niya, huwag mo muna nga hawakan yan. Baka sa linggo pa natin pagtuusan uh, yan. Ayan ang mga lobo na nakikita natin. Up on top of the Raptors ng Araneta Coliseum. Game reset. Pareho na sa penalty niyan. Okay, San Miguel Beer only with one full timeout left. Here we go. Sa kanila ang bona na sa front court ng San Miguel. We are tied at 94. Pinigay kay Don Don Ontiveros. Nakabalik na pa natin si Don Don during the timeout. Ontiveros sabi kay Mark Pagiwa. Ontiveros, tumuloy-tuloy! Di na mas kay Olsen Rasela. Pinas pa sa rin kay Don Don. Don Don Ontiveros goes up. Wala! Lose ball! Lordy Tugane! Wala! Lose ball na naman! Rebound trouble! J.J. Hunterman! Oh! Outside! Dapat ang kahit nebra! Tawag ni Referee Herrera. And Olsen Rasela is trying to... Ano yun? Tumawag ng timeout. Tumawag ng timeout. 16.9 seconds to go. Jose Grisela is trying to question the call. And, well, Lebre Herrera has made his decision. Better time. Timeout. Let's go back to ABC5. Coaching styles, and John Chico, very active. You can just assistant coach to see short tank in set. That's right. The advantage nila don is they've been together for some time. Plus the fact that Chot has actually coached this team, no. Well, uh, the takeover of uh, Chot Reyes, no, of San Miguel. You can see Chot has come from the style of uh, Tim Cohn, no, which That's is right. really on his own, no. Uh -huh. And the staff is just supporting, no. Uh -huh. While the other one, they have actually two coaches doing the job. Oh, eto merong gagawin situation na substitution si Coach Chot Reyes, no. Also, a little bit of controversy. The pagtawag ng time on JJ Helderbrand kina question ng San Miguel that he was falling out of bounds. There is a rule that says you cannot call a timeout if you're falling out of bounds. You have to have good established possession of the ball. Bago ka pwede magtawag ng timeout. But uh, the referee has made his decision. Yes. And it will stand. And sinasabi kong uh, substitution ni Coach Ch Chot Reyes, si Willie Wilson has not seen action in this ball game, I believe. Yes, di pinasok. Pinasok. Oh. Kasama si Wesley Gonzalez. Okay, uh, he's there for defensive purposes, uh, obviously. Go, go. 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 Go, go.
You can have any eyes, Danny A. Bob out, JJ Bob out, isolate. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that was pretty clear. They want to go for the last shot. 16.9 seconds. Ang nalalabi sa larong ito mga kaibigan. We are deadlocked at 94 all. And hanging in the balance is whether we're going to have another game on Sunday or not. Pagka nakascore itong Barangay Hinebra at hindi na nakabalik itong uh, San Miguel Beer, tapos na po ang serye. Ibig sabihin, magwabagi na po ang Barangay Hinebra ng ating Philippine Cup Finals if they are able to score uh, in this last uh, few seconds of the ball game, not allow San Miguel Beer to get the ball possession once again. Uh, may 30 second timeout na tinawag yung Barangay Hinebra pa rin. Hindi pa sila tapos. Shooters. Yes. Saka outside shooters, no? So they will isolate, I think, uh, one player on top. I think it's uh, Heldebrand, no? That's all, what we heard ganina. Practically all small players all on small the floor. Players. Wala, right. wala, wala na, wala na, wala na, wala na rebound ito. Oo. Oh. <laughs> it's too big. Try to get a, a foul as usual. <laughs> okay, okay, this could be the last play of the season. 16.9 seconds to go. Deadlocked at 94. Both teams in the penalty. Ito na. Inbound ni Sunday Salvacion. Binigay kay Ronald Tubid. Tubid. Kumaangat. Hinahanap si Mark Kagiwa. Kagiwa. 10 seconds to go. Helterbrand has it. Ito na si Helterbrand. One on one against Wilson. May foul. May foul. May foul. And they will send Helterbrand to the line with 2.9 seconds to go. 2.9 seconds to go. J.J. Helterbrand will be sent to the line. Willie Wilson, fresh off the bench, had not played a single second in this game. Coming in to play defense. See Danny Siegel, Pino Pumuna, and coach Jot Reyes. They give a chance for his defensive combination on the floor, but they gave up the foul. Helterbrand is a 63.6% free throw shooter. 63.6%. 2.9 seconds to go, deadlocked at 94 in game six. First by Helterbrand, it's good! And Kagiwa goes over to kiss him. Was that, was that JJ's, uh, nakita mo ba yun? Hindi ka masyado napansin eh. Ayun. Yun ang wife ni JJ, si Charlotte. And she's very, very quiet. She's praying that JJ makes Another free throw. Para makauwi na sila. <laughs> oh, celebrate. <laughs> Nakabook na ang flight. <laughs> 19 points and 7 assists. Has not missed from the free throw lines again. 9 out of 9. And it makes 2. J.J. Helderbrand gives Barangay Hinebra a 2-point lead. With a shade under 3 seconds remaining in the game. We have a timeout. Good match uh, of uh, not too many options here for the coach uh, Chot Reyes. Yeah, uh, the, the play of Chong Mujiko was simplistic. This one will have to have more options, no? Because oh. they don't have the time anymore, no? I don't think they're really going for a three, no? They're going for a quick two, either... Extend the ball game. Oh, they should stay in the ball game. Oh. Unless they're forced to throw a three after the first option. 2.9 seconds to go. 2.9 seconds. Labang ang hinebra ng dalawa. San Miguel inbounding, Olsen Rosera. A lot of three-point shooters on the floor, however. Oi, oi, oi. He needs to pass the ball. Ay, it's it's ready to get it! Wala! Wala! Barangay Hinebra wins it! Barangay Hinebra wins it in six games after falling behind 0-2. And Barangay Hinebra wins four straight. Only the fifth team in PBA history to come back from a 0-2 deficit at kahit dito sa game na ito kinito and Tommy ay uh, very they dramatic were... ending alam mo partner yung defense ang pinakita ng Hinebra ang key doon hindi yung last shot ni Tugade the fact that Old Supercella had a difficult time imbowing the ball yes. that kind of defense of Barangay Hinebra spelled the difference kanya nung nakahawak ng bola si Lori Tugade deep in the far corner to take the three point shot haras na sila eh oh, lahat ng options sila na wala eh no so yun lang ang nabuksan which is the left side they covered the pass to the middle which is the better the better option but I'd like to find out from uh, you too no ha? 
uh, for most of the game, uh, San Miguel was leading. They led by as many as 16 points. How did Barangay Ginebra manage to come back? I thought a lot of it was because of their tough defense. You know, they have full court press, created turnovers for us. Tapos yung energy level nila, no? was simply fantastic. Now, even at it, yung energy level na pinigay ni JJ, the Rudy Hatfield. Tapos, I thought that San Miguel was reacting oh. to a lot of the plays na Ginebra rather than San Miguel trying to establish yung kanilang game. Now, wala si Danny, Danny Siegel ng, ng a lot right. of minutes. Oh. Tapos si Dorian Peña, halos hindi na naglaro ng second half. Ito yung last play, nung uh, 2.9 seconds to go. No? Lodi Tucani was able to put a shot, get a shot off, pero hindi pumasok. Coach Tommy, your assessment? Well, I think Chot Reyes thought he had the game won no? after the first half. Yeah. So that's why he was having the luxury of keeping Danny Siegel for a long time and allowed Hinebra to come back. No? But what happens when Hinebra comes back, the crowd comes into the play yeah. and uh, Helte Brand just took over the game again with Kagiwa seeking the crucial shot. But at the end of the day, it was the defense of Hinebra, the hustling defense of Hinebra that did not allow San Miguel to execute. No? That's right. And the uh, in the early goings of That's the game, right. yung right. uh, kanilang low post play, uh -huh. yung kanilang, kanilang inside game. Pagkatapos, bumalik nga itong barangay Hinebra. Yan po ang ating final score in the series and in the conference, 96-94. Barangay Hinebra winning by the skin of their teeth. At syempre, habang uh, nanonood po kayo nung kumakas, uh, just in a short while, uh, ay magkakaroon na po tayo ng mga awarding ceremonies. Mark Kagiwa, Ronald Tubid, nakita uh, po ninyo ang kaligayahan uh, sa makamukha ng uh, ating uh, mga Barangay Hinebra players at ng fans. Siyempre, sigaw ng bayan at ng Rugby Con 40 para sa Barangay Hinebra Gin Kings at San Miguel Beerman. Kaya niyo yan at kinaya nga po ng Barangay Hinebra to win four straight. Huh? Apat na sunod-sunod na laro. Johnny Abarietos and uh, Coach uh, Shot Tankinson there. At, uh, oh, this was also a great game. Quality minutes binigay ni uh, Johnny Abarietos para sa Barangay Hinebra tonight. Well, total team effort on the part of Barangay Hinebra, no? Getting the job done on defense, tapos in offense. Nakita natin sa first half. Kontrolado ng San Miguel yung tempo ng laro, no? They were playing slow down and deliberate. The injury. Ito. Ang uh, ating... Uh, Ginebra San Miguel, premium best play of the game as Rudy Hatfield gets it back. Rudy Hatfield or Ginebra San Miguel, premium gin, best play of the game. Have a good time with Ginebra San Miguel, premium gin. Make yours a premium experience. Well, Ed, patagal-tagal na natin hindi nakikita si Dorian Peña on the floor, no? That's because Coach Otreas is just matching up to what Ginebra has on the floor. I think it's important that San Miguel established this its own game. With a TM3, a big single, and TM will be the last to touch mobile as we go into the last two minutes. I'm going to take outlast two minutes. I think it's going to outlast batteries. What are you doing? One clutch shot after another coming from Old Santa Cruz. Look at what I see, JJ Helderman. Santa Cruz, what a loose ball. Take that by Kagiwa. Take it, take it, take it, loose ball ball. Take it, take it. What are you doing? Hindi ko kasi makakarinigan dito eh. Looks like a loose ball foul. It might be against San Miguel. Si Hontivero sa matatawagan. I thought there might have also been a second motion against Mamaril. Pangapat kay Don Don Hontivero. Labang ang Barangay Hinebra ng isa, 1989. Well, yun ang handicap ng San Miguel ngayon. They're playing with a small lineup. And they're trying to out-rebound the big men of Hinebra who all have a big advantage of getting those loose balls, especially when they have to go up high for the ball. He missed two free throws. Ooh! Ayaw pa rin. One point lead by Hinebra. Ano yung naisip ko yung Coach Tommy Gary, Coach Chot Reyes? Well, ang problema dito, momentum-wise, no? He has to choose now how how he's going to change the momentum in, in one minute and 45, no? It's going to be very difficult. Well, at this point, no, he can bring back Dorian Peña to oh. try to establish a new game time. Uy, uy, pinanda na ni Billy Mamarel. Ang lakasan na gusto. Para sigurado. Bumanda. Two-point lead for Barangay Hinebra, 91-89. A minute and 38 to go. Well, the round of errors may tanga ng bola. Oh, this game is far from over. Oh! Far, so far from over. You say that again. Danny Siegel for a post, eh. Bihingi. Pinatulak agad. Di Don Don Tiveros. Loose ball. Picked up by Danny El Deposo. He goes up. Wala. Siegel. Chips it in. And we're tied at 41. 
Deadlocked at 91 all with one minute and 21 seconds to go. Can this game be any closer? Boy, JJ Hilton Brand to make the lead. Billy Bavariel, who now is only going to Dundon Tiberos. Yes, Dundon Tiberos. But it's not going to be Daniel Duponso. Emotions are running high. Patapos na ang laro natin. Possibly patapos na rin ang ating serye. Daniel Defonso reacted to some physicality. Si Mamaril. Now at the line. Kanina, he missed one. Yung pangalawang free throw niya, pinanda niya to make sure. Ano kaya ang gagawin ni Billy ngayon? Ibabanda kaya niya? Two out of six from the free throw line in sa game. Ooh! Still some free throw shooting blows. Dominic, oy, may balita ba tayo kay Rudy Hatfield? Oh, ay, hanggang ngayon, hindi pa rin tumitigil yung dugo dun sa ilong nitong si Rudy Hatfield. Ang nangyayari dun eh, he actually got the rebound. Ito mama siya sa tuhod ng isang uh, San Miguel Beerman. Pero sabi naman ng uh, doctor natin dito sa PBA, eh, may sugat lang siya dun sa ilong. It's just a deep cut inside the nose. Uh, uh, that's a uh, bit of good news. Ano, ha? That, uh, at least walang sinasabi broken uh, uh, nose. Ano? Uh, but uh, Rudy Hatfield still uh, cooling his heels. Matala, 92-91. Barangay Hinebra by one. We have a timeout. Mga kabigid sa mga amigo na ito dira sa Panay Island, kang sa Negros. Sadya naman kay Amone. Hampang naman ang Barangay Hinebra kang San Miguel Beer. Game 6 at isa lang ang namang ng Barangay Hinebra, 92-91. Nasa San Miguel ang bola. One minute and six seconds to go. Most teams in the penalty. Olsen Rossella down low to Danny Siegel. Siegel puts it up. Mahina. And the ball goes out of bounds. It will stay with something else, says Referee Kalungkagin. Nag-zone ng Hinebra doon. Na-overload. Na-libre si Danny Siegel. So... O minsan, nagugulat din sa Miguel. This very shifting defense na pinapakita ng Barangay Hinebra. Kapalit-palit. Very unpredictable. Dr. Rotteveras gets it back to Danny Siegel. Siegel to Rodney Tugadre! A big shot That's why he's in the game for the three-point shot. And it's a two-point lead by San Miguel. We have a timeout. Okay, okay. two-point lead with Barangay Hinebra in the possession. On timeouts, marami pa, ha? San Miguel has two timeouts left, one full and one thirty. At ang Barangay Hinebra, two full and two thirties. Ito, substitution. Now, Wesley Gonzalez has been sent in for Don Don Tiveros by Coach Chot Reyes. Okay, he's another weapon. Also has been playing good defense against Kagiwa. Ito si Helter Brand. Helter Brand against Rosera. Ito, binigay kay Sunday Salvation! Yes! Two points, two points. So, tap na tayo, tap na tayo. Has been on fire. Sunday second half, he's got 18 points. But hindi ito si Sunday Salvacion, ano ha? At hindi lang yun, he's being set up. His teammates are looking for him. They're looking to execute. And Sunday is delivering. Ito, makikita natin. Talaga hinanap ni J.J. Helterbrand, eh, oh. Hinanap niya si Sunday Salvacion. Kumahabol si Lordy Tugane. But he is a tad too late as Sunday Salvation scores his 18th point of the game and deadlocks the count at 94 all with a shade under 36 seconds remaining in the game. Coach Tommy, what is the game you going to do with Coach Chot Reyes? Well, he'll try to go to low post, I think, to get a foul. He doesn't want an outside shot. And you only have 35 seconds left. You must take a good shot. It's not an outside. High percentage. High percentage. What's your class in defense? Correct. That's what's going to happen. So he must draw out two plays. One play if it's a zone, and the other play if it's a man-to-man. Yes. What's that? Do you have a good trophy? That's the Philippine Cup trophy. And drafted by Ramon Ordina. Oo, yung magaling na National Artist National Artist natin At si Coach Chotre Sinasabi niya Huwag din mo nang ahawakan yan Baka sa linggo pa natin Pagtuusan yan Ayan ang mga lobo Na nakikita natin Up on top of the Raptors Ng Araneta Coliseum Game reset Pareho na sa penalty niyan Okay, San Miguel Beer Only with one full Timeout left Here we go Sa kanila ang bola Nasa frontcourt ng San Miguel We are tied At 94 
Did again get Dondon on the Veras. Now coming to the Dondon during the timeout. On the Veras, I'm going to Mike Fangiwa. On the Veras, to play to lay. Pira más que Olsen en la cela. Pira es más que Dondon. Dondon de Veras goes up. Voilà. Luz Wolf. Lordi to Gane. Voilà. Luz Wolf in the back. Rebound trouble. J.K. Hunterman. Oh, outside. Trouble on Guy Hedebra. Tower of the referee Herrera. And Olsen in la cela is trying to... Adel, to bow the timeout. To bow the timeout, 16.9 seconds to go. Jose Grosella is trying to question the call. And, well, Rebre Herrera has made his decision. Better time, timeout, let's go back to ABC5. <laughs> Coaching styles and John Wichigo very active you can assist the coach to see uh short tank in set. That's right. Uh an advantage still I don't is they've been together for some time, plus the fact that Chot has actually coached this team, no? Well, uh, the takeover of uh, Chot Reyes, no, of San Miguel. You can see Chot has come from the style of uh, Team Cone, no? Which That's is right. really on his own, no? Uh-huh. And the staff is just supporting, no? Uh-huh. While the other one, they have actually two coaches doing the job. Oh, Eta, merong uh, gathering situation and substitution to coach Chot Reyes, no? Also, a little bit of controversy. The pagtawag ng timeout in JJ Helderbrand, kina question ng San Miguel, that he was falling out of bounds. There is a rule that says you cannot call a timeout if you're falling out of bounds. You have to have good established possession of the ball. Bago ka pwede magtawag ng timeout. But uh, the referee has made his decision. Yes. And it will stand. And sinasabi kong uh, substitution ni Coach Chot Reyes, si Willie Wilson has not seen action in this ball game, I believe. Yes, si dito sa Calderon. Oh. Kasama si Wesley Gonzalez. Okay, he's there for defensive purposes, oh. obviously. Go, Michigo. Okay, that was pretty clear. They want to go for the last shot. 16.9 seconds. Ang nalalabi sa larong ito mga kaibigan, we are deadlocked at 94 all. And hanging in the balance is whether we're going to have another game on Sunday or not. Pagka nakascore itong Barangay Hinebra at hindi na nakabalik itong uh, San Miguel Beer, tapos na po ang serye. Ibig sabihin, magwabagi na po ang Barangay Hinebra ng ating Philippine Cup Finals if they are able to score. Uh, in this last uh, few seconds of the ball game, not allow San Miguel Beer to get the ball possession once again. Uh, may 30 seconds timeout na tinawag yung Barangay Hinebra pa rin. Di pa sila tapos. Shooters. Yes. Saka outside shooters, no? So they will isolate, I think, uh, one player on top. I think it's uh, Helderbrand, no? That's all, what we heard ganina. Practically all small players all on small the floor. Players. Wala na mang... Wala na, wala na. Wala na rebound ito. Oh. <laughs> it's too big. Try to get a, a foul as usual. <laughs> okay. okay, this could be the last play of the season. 16.9 seconds to go. Deadlocked at 94. Both teams in the penalty. Ito na. Inbound is Sunday Salvacion. Binigay kay Ronald Tubid. Tubid. Kumaangat. Ginahanap si Mark Kagiwa. Kagiwa. 10 seconds to go. Helterbrand has it. Ito na si Helterbrand. One on one against Wilson. They foul! They foul! They foul! And they will send Helterbrand to the line with 2.9 seconds to go. 2.9 seconds to go. JJ Helterbrand will be sent to the line. Willie Wilson, fresh off the bench, had not played a single second in this game, coming in to play defense. See Danny Siegel, Pino Pumuna, and Nicole Chot Reyes. They give a chance for his defensive combination on the floor, but they gave up the foul. Helderbrand is a 63.6% free throw shooter. 63.6%. 2.9 seconds to go, deadlocked at 94 in game six. First by Helderbrand. It's good! 
And Kagiwa goes over to kiss him. Was that was that JJ's uh Nakita Mubeon? Yon at wife of JJ C. Charlotte. And she's very, very quiet. She's praying that JJ makes another free throw. Para makauwi na sila. <laughs> oh, <laughs> celebrate. Na kabuk na ang flight. Eh. 19 <laughs> points and 7 assists. Has not missed with the free throw lines again. 9 out of 9. And it makes 2. JJ Helderbrand gives Barangay Hinebra a 2 point lead with a shade under 3 seconds remaining in the game. We have a timeout. Not much uh, of uh, not too many options here para kay coach uh, Chot Reyes. Yeah, eh, the, the play of Chong Mochigo was simplistic. This one will have to have more options, no? Because oh. they don't have the time anymore, no? I don't think they're really going for a three, no? They're going for a quick two, either... Extend the ball game. Oh, they sustain the ball game. Oh. Unless they're forced to throw a three after the first option. 2.9 seconds to go. 2.9 seconds. Labang ang hinebra ng dalawa. San Miguel inbounding, Olsen Rosera. A lot of three-point shooters on the floor, however. Oi, oi, oi. He needs to pass the ball. Ayo, si Lodi Tugani! Wala! Wala! Barangay Hinebra wins it! Barangay Hinebra wins it! In six games, after falling behind 0-2, and Barangay Hinebra wins four straight. Only the fifth team in PBA history to come back from a 0-2 deficit. At kahit dito sa game na ito, in ito and Tommy, ay... Uh, Very dramatic were... ending. Alam mo, partner, yung defense ang pinakita ng Hinebra, ang key doon, hindi yung last shot ni Tugade. The fact that Olsi Vercella had a difficult time inbounding the ball. Yes. That kind of defense of Parangay Hinebra spelled the difference. Kaya nung nakahawak ng bola, si Lori Tugade deep in the far corner to take the three-point shot. Haras na sila eh. Oh, lahat ng options sila na wala eh, no? So yun lang ang nabuksan, which is the left side. They covered the pass to the middle, which is the better the better option. But I'd like to find out from uh, you too, no? Uh, for most of the game, uh, San Miguel was leading. They led by as many as 16 points. How did Barangay Hinebra manage to come back? I thought a lot of it was because of their tough defense. Yung kanila uh, full court press, created turnovers para sa kanila. Tapos yung energy level nila, no? was simply fantastic na rin natin yung energy level na pinigay ni JJ ni Rudy Hatfield tapos I thought that San Miguel was reacting oh. to a lot of the plays na Hinebra rather than San Miguel trying to establish yung kanilang game na wala si Danny Danny Siegel ng, mal- ng a lot right. of minutes no. tapos si Dorian Peña kalos hindi na naglaro ng second half ito yung last play nung uh, 2.9 seconds to go no? Lodi Tukani was able to put a shot get a shot off pero hindi pumaso Coach Tommy your assessment well I think Chot Reyes thought he had the game won no? after the first half. Yeah. So that's why he, he was having the luxury of keeping Danny Siegel for a long time and allowed Hinebra to come back. No? But what happens when Hinebra comes back, the crowd comes into the play yeah. and uh, Heldebrand just took over the game again with Kagiwa seeking the crucial shot. But at the end of the day, it was the defense of Hinebra, the hustling defense of Hinebra that did not allow San Miguel to execute. No? That's right. And they uh, did in the early goings of that's the game. Right. Yung right. uh, kanilang low post play, ah. yung kanilang, kanilang inside game. Pagkatapos, bumalik nga itong barangay Hinebra. Yan po ang ating final score in the series and in the conference. 96-94, barangay Hinebra winning by the skin of their teeth. At syempre, habang uh, nanonood po kayo nung kumak- uh, just in a short while, uh, ay magkakaroon na po tayo ng mga awarding ceremonies. Mark Kagiwa, Ronald Tubid, nakita uh, po ninyo ang kaligayahan uh, sa makamukha ng uh, ating uh, mga Barangay Hinebra players at ng fans. Siyempre, sigaw ng bayan at ng Reglicon 40 para sa Barangay Hinebra Gin Kings at San Miguel Beben. Kaya niyo yan at kinaya nga po ng Barangay Hinebra to win four straight. Huh? Apat na sunod-sunod na ro. Johnny Abarietos and uh, Coach uh, Shot Tankinsen there. At uh, oh, this was also a great game. Quality minutes binigay ni uh, Johnny Abarientos para sa Barangay Hinebra tonight. Well, total team effort on the part of Barangay Hinebra, no? Getting the job done on defense, tapos in offense, nakita natin sa first half. Kontrolado ng San Miguel yung tempo ng laro, no? They were playing slow down and deliberate.